This is a Videocraft Playwright Digital Video Stabilizer. Will it help my videos play right? And more importantly, will it help my backups record right? I'll find out coming up on Thrifty AV. In 1985, the first videotapes came out with Macrovision copy protection, and it didn't take long for products like this to come out afterwards that could defeat Macrovision copy protection. This is the Vidicraft Playwright. It was one of the first items introduced that could do that, and I'm going to take a look and see what we got in the box. I bought this used but I was pretty happy with the fact that it came with the original packing materials. Full size instruction manual, copyright 1987. Here is the box itself. It looks like one of the feet came unglued here. Looks like this date of manufacture was handwritten, July 1987. Here's the serial number on it. This device is not to be used for the unauthorized duplication of copyrighted material, which is prohibited by federal copyright law. Well, this is authorized duplication that I'm going to be doing today because personal backups are allowed. Here's another warning. Same warning that was on the back. The fact that they put these warnings on here is strong indication that this box will do that. Here is the power adapter. It uses a 3.5 millimeter plug. Backside looks pretty simple, just RCA in and out. The front side has two switches, power and stabilize. Let's plug this thing in, see if it works. It lit up when I powered it on. That's always a good sign. I don't see that coming off or on. Maybe that'll change when I hook a signal up to it. I now have a video signal feeding through it, and now that light does come on when I hit the switch. So at least the stabilizer light's working. I want to see any kind of sync signal I might have. So to do that, I'm going to go HV delay. Now I'm about to pop in something with macro vision, and you'll see something right here. For this test, I'm going to use the KISS 3D Psycho Circus video that I recently featured on Thrifty AV. I'm going to turn off the video stabilizer at first. These white and super black uh, signals here are indication of macrovision copy protection. Uh, the white will come in and out. Uh, that messes with the auto gain when dubbing from one VCR to another. I'm going to hit the switch on the playwright. And the white pulse signals have disappeared. Now the super black ones are still here, but the white pulse signals have gone. One of the issues with video stabilizers is closed captioning. For example, the SEMA Video Copy Master here not only removes the uh, white pulse signals, it also removes the caption signal from videos. I'm wondering if the Vidicraft will also remove captioning signals. But this video does not appear to have closed captioning on it, so I need to find a video that does. I popped in my VHS of Jurassic Park, and as you can see, there is captioning on the signal. And there's also the telltale sign of macrovision with these white and super black pulse signals. I'm now turning on the video stabilizer. The white pulse signals have disappeared and the closed captioning has also disappeared. So the Vidicraft Playwright video stabilizer will not only strip the copy protection it will strip the closed captioning. With older copy protection that removes the white blocks but not the black ones, sometimes DVD recorders still recognize the content as being copy protected. I want to see out of my DVD recorder collection which of these will record this content and which ones will not. 
The signal path right now is being output from this VCR through the VidiCraft stabilizer, through this monitor, and then into this Panasonic DMR ES15 DVD recorder. I'm going to pop a DVD in. All right, and it's ready to record. I'm going to hit record. Copyrighted material. This content cannot be copied, cannot record. This is an RX2 unit. It's my favorite copy protection stripper. I just installed a new 9 volt battery in it. I'm now looping through the RX2 instead of the VidiCraft, and we'll see what happens now. It is recording. Note that it's also preserving closed captioning. I now have the signal looped through my Samsung DVD-R155. You cannot record copy protected movie. Let's switch to the RX2. Record. Do I want to create a chapter menu? Sure. And now the Samsung is recording. So we're 0 for 2 on recording using the VidiCraft with a DVD recorder. I'm now looping through my Magnavox ZV427MG9. I'm looping through the VidiCraft and I'm going to hit record. Recording error. This program is not allowed to be recorded. I'm now going to switch over to the RX2 and hit record again. And now it is recording and preserving closed captioning. Okay, I'm now looping through this Philips HDD and DVD recorder. And I'm going through the VidiCraft. I'm going to hit record. This program is not allowed to be recorded. I'm going to switch to the RX2. I'm going to hit record again. Now it's recording to the hard drive, but it is recording. And as you can see, captioning is preserved. I'm now looping through this Pioneer DVR220. I have it going through the VidiCraft. I'm hitting record, and it says this content is copy protected. I'm going to switch over to the RX2. And now I'm going to hit record again. And it is recording. It's in LP mode, but it is recording. I'm now on the Polaroid DRM2001G. It has trouble with the rear composite signal, so I'm plugged into the front for this one. And I'm going to hit record. And it says pause, copy protection. It's also set to record to the hard drive. That's fine. All right, now let's go through the RX2 and hit record again. And it says recording. This is the first time I've tried to use this Aspire Digital DVD recorder since I picked it up at the Salvation Army. When I load a Memorex disc into it, I'm getting this disc loading message that will not go away. So I'm going to try one of these Sony's out and see if it likes the Sony disc better. I'm getting the same disc loading error when I try to use my Sony DVD-R. It took some digging around, but I found this Maxell DVD Plus R. I'm going to try to use it. Okay, now I'm going to hit record on the Aspire machine. Recording prohibited. I'm going to switch to my RX2 and hit record and now it says recording and now I'm seeing my signal. So the Aspire Digital DVD recorder requires DVD plus R discs. For my final test I'm going to do a tape to tape VHS recording going through the VidiCraft stabilizer. I'm just going to hit that record button there. And it is recording. It's recording in SP mode. And the VidiCraft stabilizer is removing the sync pulses. 
The Vidicraft Playwright removes the white pulse signals that mess with auto gain control when doing a tape to tape dub. However, all seven of my DVD recorders recognize the source material is copyrighted content. So it's not working as a copy protection device with DVD recorders. Also, along with those white pulse signals, it is filtering out closed caption information. So the RX2 remains my favorite copy protection filter. I originally planned to also try out the SEMA GO DVD filter in this video, but this one that I ordered from eBay did not work. So I'll have to wait till later. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>